Hello again, so today I want to show to you how I'm cleaning the, the potentiometers for bands on Pioneer SG9800 equalizer. So this is the board where all these potentiometers for bands are soldered. Are 12 bands for each each channel for left and right so 24 in total 24 potentiometers these are already cleaned and if you are looking inside it's a lot of tarnish and old contact cleaner and dust accumulated during the years so now I, I want to to open all of them, already a part of them are, are opened and cleaned. And with you, I want to, to open this one to see how I'm doing this, uh, this cleaning. What tools I'm using for this? I'm using this cutting plier, yeah? On this side, it's flat. On the other side, you can see it's an ordinary one. Couple of erasers, ordinary erasers, used on schools to, to clean the pencil drawings. This one is finer, this one is coarser. Two brushes. This plier, this is from Knipex, and this one is for, from Pierre Jean Comi, yeah. This is the model for this one, Knipex or Knipex 13.02.160. And the code for this one is model 3 TRE 03 NB. Okay, this small tweezer, a flashlight, IPA. And I'm using a potentiometer contact cleaner. It's a, it's not a contact cleaner. Sorry for this. It's a, how they are calling this, contact PR. It's yeah, I said okay, cleaner for recovery of potentiometers. It's written here. You see, and it's really, it's really good for this stuff, but. It's better to not use this one in this moment because he will not clean all the grease which is inside and the dust. What he will do, he will spread everything around and you will move around the resistive, uh, resistive one. So let's do this. So you have to pay very, very high attention. Why? Because with this plier, you can cut this small how to call this these small parts edges which they are keeping this this uh, this board resistive board support it's uh, it's kept in position by all these eight blockers let's say yeah? so what i'm doing i'm grabbing with this plier and i'm bending them on the you see now they are perpendicular on the edge, yeah? So I'm doing like that with all of them, with all eight. Here it's a little bit difficult, but you can do it. Or like that on the other side. One by one. Try to, to not accelerate this, this process. Because if it's if something is destroyed, these parts are obsolete. So you have to, to buy a, a donator for this. So on this side it's a hole, on the other side is not. So on this hole, it's coming this ball. Be, be, behind the ball, it's a spring. So this one is the the defeat position for this potentiometer. Now I'm lifting this, but before of this, so keep this 
frame closer to you and check the leads how they are situated on this side you have two leads on the other side it's only one lead so keep in mind this yeah for this cursor press with your finger when you push the plastic cursor out why because like i said it's a ball here and the spring and the ball is jumping so what i'm doing now I will put the ball here somewhere. You see here it's a lot of dust if you are looking. And lint. See? Now what I will do, I will clean this like that. So this side is cleaned. On the other side you have the wipers. Are four wipers. And all the wipers, each wiper, have two small wipers inside them. Yeah? What I'm doing now, I'm cleaning a little bit with a brush to remove the dust from top and with the eraser I'm cleaning these wipers, but pay attention. Do it, do it gently, because if you'll bend any wiper, okay, if you'll bend is not any problem because you'll put back on position, but if you'll broke a wiper it will be very difficult to fix back okay so two remains one remain now and the smallest one so this is what i'm doing here now clean our one time check on the light to see if everything is shiny so like you see everything is shiny on this sun I don't care about this side here because there's no any contact. The contacts are only on this, this side. So you can use a flashlight if you want to be more precise. And you can see it's it's shiny everything. Now I'm using this this brush, the biggest one, because have more bristle. Cleaning. And this one is ready. So now I will put with the spring on top, closer to the ball. Good. Now I'm taking. I will take a rug, and I will clean the the potentiometer support inside for the dust, of course. So just cleaning. I'm using the tweezer for this job. Also here, like that, cleaning. On this side also. So this one it's it's ready also. Closer, I'll put closer to the other parts. And now the most important part is this one. The resistive pad. You see, if you are looking here, it's here is the resistive pad, and here are two metal liners, and on the other side it's also a liner liner. Also resistive, or not, it looks like a carbon, but for sure it's not resistive because it's not the potentiometer side on that, that one. So now, to be much more clear, I will take this board and I will explain to you something. Here on top, you see are the LEDs, each potentiometer on this uh, equalizer have lights. You see it's an LED here on top and the LED is connected by these two connectors. Yeah. So now I will take the potentiometer, you see here on top are two connectors. So the connectors are here, these two. I will put on position to see how it's connected. Okay, like that. So the LED is connected between this one and this one this one and this one under so this one is connected on this carbon side which is not resistive but you see it's black and this metal side which is metal so here is connected the led and remains this one and this one the ends of the resistive part of potentiometer and here is the wiper so wiper it's inside here and the wiper it's metal it's it's running on the metal 
And the resistive board is this one, carbon resistive uh, side of the potentiometer. And look how, how much dirt it's on this one. It's a lot of dirt. So what I'm doing now, I will take a rag, you see, on this one. And we are, uh, we are asking ourselves why our potentiometers are scratching. Look, you see, and every, all of them, they are same. Why? Because of the years, people, they are pushing inside, people, they are pushing inside a lot of, a lot of stuffs. Contact cleaners, WD-40 I found. You see, it's showing better, but it's not enough. The other, uh, other, uh, and other chemicals, what people, they have closer to them. So now I will clean this carbon side, which is not resistive and you will see the difference so i am using the the eraser for this from one side to the other side and i think it's already visible on the camera the difference so now i will clean so you see it's a big, big difference than before. Now I will use the rubber and I will clean the others. The eraser, not the rubber. And you will see here also a big difference. So what he is doing the rubber, he is scrubbing the... these black spots, which are... which are um, on the top of the metal side. It's a oxidation because of because of all these chemicals which are added during the years, but also because of the silver because it's coated in silver. I think so. So this is what, how I'm doing this. Now I will take an ad, the other eraser. So I'm cleaning with two erasers. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe on this channel, share with others, thumb ups, and leave comments questions, suggestions to grow together. Okay, so this one, it's ready, almost ready, remains only to, to clean more. So this is how it looks and the difference between. You see, now it will be visible if it's focus my camera. You see, it's total, total difference. So now I will clean the other one also with this eraser i will use on the end the other eraser and i will clean everything with ipa like that the other uh, the, this resistive pad is not necessary to be to be cleaned by rag because it's it's carbon and it looks nice for that one i will i will use only the the IPA for cleaning and on the end I will add that cleaner which I showed to you on the beginning when I present the stuffs which I'm using for this. Okay, so this is how it looks now. Now I will use the the scissor, the tweezer, not the scissor. Okay, so this part it's clean now. But by erasers, I'm using, I forget to tell you about uh, tooth stick. I'm using for the edges to clean the excess which remains from the erasers. Like that. Because this one is not scratching the metals. Now on a piece of rag, I will put some IPA. And I will clean everything very well like that all the traces which remains from uh, erasers they will be out from uh, from this cursors and they will remain on the rack or they will fall down here on the desk so like i said if you like what i'm doing here 
you can subscribe and leave comments and of course put questions if you want to see something else yeah so this is how it looks now i will take the brush and i will clean very very well and after that i will look on the light spot to see if remains something here like that okay so it looks very nice now i will look on the spot like i said to see if it remains something and in the same time i will take a rug clean rug and i will clean one more time everything like that and now it's proper cleaned and you see the difference it's totally the sound it will be proper is no any is nothing remained here let's see if the telephone is focus okay so on this i will use the contact cleaner for potentiometer and i'm pushing some some liquid on all this these cursors not so much like that it will be enough because it, it will be spread it around by the by the this by this cursor now i'll keep the cursor in the fingers put the ball on position like that take the support put like that put the ball inside this window and check one potentiometer which is not dismantled and see how it's aligned the board with the cover like you see here it's one connector and here are two connectors so one connector on top and two connectors down one on top two on the bottom so a line it's aligned it's on position try to move the cursor two times to see if it's moving it's moving take again the plier and keep like that and bend back the these stumps you see and they will come back on normal position like that and the last one like that and now this one is ready i will clean one more time on the exterior so this is how how it looks a deep cleaning of this kind of potentiometers thank you for watching leave some comments down check the channel the other videos which are uh, already on uh, on the channel and uh, and leave comments thank you very much